This is a video demonstrating radiofrequency ablation of an osteoid osteoma in the calcaneus bone. Pictured here is the osteoid osteoma in the x-ray, CAT scan, and now MRI, demonstrating the tumor within the calcaneus bone. There's extensive surrounding edema around the tumor. An osteoid osteoma is a benign, very painful tumor that develops in bones. Radiofrequency ablation is a minimally invasive procedure designed to eradicate the tumor. Pictured here is Dr. Leon Ryback localizing the tumor under a CAT scan. A special grid is placed overlying the area of the lesion, and this grid is utilized to localize the tumor under the CAT scan. A special marking pen is utilized to mark the skin in the location of where the tumor exists in the bone. Once the tumor is localized, the area is cleansed and prepped and draped in a sterile manner. The area of the osteoid osteoma is infiltrated with lidocaine and a needle is placed down to the level of the tumor through the area that was marked on the skin. A small puncture hole is made in the skin and a larger needle is placed down to the tumor and then the patient is placed through the CAT scanner to ensure the needle is in the proper position. Once the needle is in the proper position, a small biopsy sample is obtained with a special serrated trocar. This is demonstrating the radiologist taking the biopsy sample of the lesion. The biopsy is placed in formalin and will be examined by a pathologist. And once the biopsy sample is obtained, the lesion can be ablated. The original needle that was placed down to the bone is kept in place and the radiofrequency ablation probe is placed down the center of this needle down, to, down into the nidus. The radiofrequency ablation probe is then visualized under the CAT scanner to ensure it is in the proper position. Once it is in the proper position, the machine is turned on for seven to eight minutes and the osteoid osteoma is burned with the radiofrequency ablation probe. The probe is then removed, the patient is cleansed, and stereostrips are applied to the small puncture site. The patient is then awakened from general anesthesia.